So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Are you tired of when you go on your web browser on your fire stick and you're being tracked by ads just like this here? Google ads are trying to track you, but this web browser blocked them? I think that's a great thing. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what it is. We'll download it. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it today. I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick or some other type of device, check out my description down below. A couple of different links in there. Click on the link, no extra cost to you. Small commission does come to the channel and it helps to bring you some more videos. Also, one big thing you need to remember is that when you are streaming, always stream safe, use a VPN. Hide yourself from your internet provider. They don't need to know what's going on in your household while you are streaming. The one I recommend, the one I use all the time is IP Vanish VPN. Also, I have a link in my description down below. Click on that link, go ahead and get yourself a nice low price and also connect multiple devices with no issues at all. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here it is, I'm on my web browser that I have on my Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. What happened here is Google was trying to track me here. But with this web browser, it blocked them. Google don't need to know because Google tells everybody what you're doing. But with this web browser, there is no tracking. It always gets blocked. So now let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how you could go ahead and install this great web browser onto your Fire Stick in just a couple of easy steps. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you that you need is you do need an OTG cable, which I have in the description down below. Go ahead and order it. It doesn't cost much. And you're going to need a USB mouse. Or from one of my videos, I showed you how you could go ahead and put a mouse onto your phone. So now let's go ahead and install this great web browser for your Fire Stick. So the one thing you're going to need to go ahead and install this great web browser is you're going to need Downloader. In case you don't have it, it's very simple. Go over to the left to the find. Go down to search. Click that enter button on your remote for search. Come over, click on D. Come on down, click on downloader. I'm going to need apps and games as downloader. Click it. Give it a few seconds. So it will open up. Now, right here on the enter a URL, search term or shortcut code, you want to type in the following. You want to type in 218330 and click on go give it a few seconds the page is going to go ahead and load up four seconds to go and it'll bring you over to the time for streaming web page once you're on the time for streaming home page of the web page let's go up come over to the three lines that are in blue click on it come on down let's go ahead click on downloads once you click on downloads let's go ahead and scroll on down we're going to go ahead and look for this web browser that we're going to use for today. Here it is, right here, DuckDuckGo. Give that a few seconds to go ahead and connect. After it redirects you, go ahead and you click on Install. Should not take long at all to go ahead and install. Once it installs itself, you want to always click on Done. If you like what you're seeing so far, click on that Like and Subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you know when I do go ahead and put up some more videos. Also, please go ahead and share it with some family and friends. This way they come on over to the Time for Streaming YouTube channel. They subscribe, and it does help out a lot. I really do appreciate that. Here we are. It says open or done. Like I say, let's click on done. Come on, click on delete. Click on delete again. This only deletes the file from inside the downloader app. Click the home button on your remote. Let's go over to the right to where the three boxes are on the plus sign, also known as your apps. Give that a click. Come on down to the bottom because this is where the app is going to be. Come over to the right, highlight it. The three line button on your remote. Click move to front. Click the home button on your remote again. Here it is, first spot. Click the duck. Give that a few seconds. Welcome to Duck Duck Go. Okay, so now here you are. You're ready for a better, more private internet. Let's do it. Now, this is where you go ahead 
and you need to use the OTG cable with your USB mouse or a mouse that's on your phone. I'm going to hook up my USB mouse right now and we'll continue. So now my USB mouse has been inserted into my OTG cable. And right here, you wanna go ahead and click on let's do it. After you click on let's do it, you wanna make sure all of these are in green for DuckDuckGo and then choose your browser and it's gonna automatically choose DuckDuckGo. Now with your Fire Stick remote, let's go ahead, click on down to where it says DuckDuckGo, highlight it, click the enter button, and then come down to where it says set as default, click the enter button again on your Fire Stick remote. Now with your mouse, go ahead, click on start browsing. Once you do that, then it comes up where you can go ahead and type in what you want to type in, what you want to go ahead and browse. Click that home button on your remote. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you use DuckDuckGo or you use some other web browser like the Google Chrome or the Silk browser and you like it a lot. Also remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.